What's crack lacking everybody and welcome back to what is a series return of none other than Pokemon Go. I have been wanting to do a video on Pokemon Go for so long right now, but I was waiting for one phone in particular to rock up so I could do one of the funniest, craziest Pokemon Go episodes we've filmed in a hot minute. But basically, it finally arrived today. We are filming on the brand new 2020... Samsung Z Flip. If you have no idea what the Samsung Z Flip is or what I'm holding right here, this tiny device is actually the brand new, like, everyone's got their eyes on sort of phone, but I had my eyes on it for a different reason. Because as soon as I saw this, I knew its potential. So if you don't know what it is, basically it's like the old school flip phones. Um, I don't know if you remember, but they were like all the rage. And Samsung's gonna make this one, which is basically like a touchscreen version of it, but it folds. So like, that's pretty crazy, but in my mind, I was like, okay, that's a cool feature. But you know what it'd be really good for? What if you played Pokemon Go on this thing, had it like this, you could do the little Pokeball action, fire the Pokeball, and then it would catch the Pokemon up here. Like, surely that works. So, today we're gonna give it a go. I've just got like so many updates Pokemon Go-wise to share with you guys as well, so this is gonna be a really fun episode, and if you guys wanna see Pokemon Go return to the channel, and for me to cover all the Pokemon Go Fest next month, Demolish the like button. Let's try and get like 5,000 likes in the series return But I'm really keen to see how Pokemon Go plays in the Z Flip and uh, see what crazy antics and what it looks like in general Okay, so before we venture outside I thought I'd give you guys a nice HD look at the phone and understand what's going on with it And then we'll see how it sort of runs when you do venture outside with it But the first thing I did notice no screen on the front You'd have no idea what's going on The only thing on the front is this time the date the percentage of the battery and I think it's touch, yeah, it's touch screen, but you can only get like the Google app and maybe the weather as well. That's it. This phone's pretty robust. Like I think it's meant to just easily fit in your pocket. Still trying to be like really slim, but obviously it's kind of like two phones stacked on each other. That's the other side, it says Samsung. But let's boot it up and let me show you how Pokemon Go runs this. It's so tall, by the way. So the phone itself is absolutely massive. Really, really long. I know it's longer than any iPhone I've ever used. And if we hit this right here, I've actually got a stack of uh, shiny Pokemon that I still need to catch with my special research. So let's try and catch one of these and then we'll go in and go outside and have a look at the rest. All right, so here we've got a shiny Snubble. Graphics actually really smooth. You don't actually see the crease right there. Um, but as you can see, so long, it's ridiculous. It does sort of kind of work well, but let's fold this bad boy up. And that's what it kind of looks like when you fold it and you want to play some Pokemon Go. So my theory was right. You'd have this folded up like this. You'd see the Pokemon and then we're going to go de -de 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 -de, throw the Pokeball like that. Oh gosh, there's not much room to uh, throw the Pokeball. Like I've got the smallest. Oh, he jumped as well. Let's raise it up a bit. All right, nice. So let's see if we catch it. We'll fold it a bit more so we can see the full fold. Two and three. Boom. Shiny Snubble is in the bag. That's pretty good. So there we go, our first daily streak. Look at that, streaks right on the fold. You can see with this camera because it looks a bit more brighter, but that's about it really. That is awesome, Shiny Snubble. All right, so we've got two more Shinies to get to. I want to evolve it actually. Let's see what it looks like evolved. Shiny Snubble Evolution. Oh, it's already a banger video. <laughs> What is it going to look like? Show me the goods. Oh, no, he's not purple. He's like an off-white, almost a brown. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I was not playing around when I said I had a bunch of shinies to show you guys. It's going to be such a sick episode today, and it's all just like saved up content because I've been meaning to record Pokemon Go for the longest time. So let's do it. Let's claim reward. Which one is this? Oh, this is the done spot. All right, don't worry about this one. We got a couple of rewards to, <laughs> to claim, and half of them are shiny and half of them are regular. There we go, look at that, golden shinx. Oh my goodness. So what you're looking at right now as well, this is the screen cap of the fold. So we're still using the fold. It's super duper long. Um, you could, I wonder what the screen cap looks like if we do this. Oh wow, that's, that's, pretty, uh, that's pretty interesting. I didn't think the screen cap should change. It still should be small, but look at this. Golden shinx in the curve. This is crazy. I still can't believe we're doing this. All right, so I'm gonna use my professional setup right here. I'll give you guys a side angle. And we're gonna go, actually, oh, let's use a great ball, why not? Golden Shinx time, boys. It's so trippy, oh my goodness. Trying to like throw it, but knowing you're trying to land it on the crease of the phone. Come on, you, Ugh. There we go, okay, he's moving around a fair bit. Got a great throw right there. 
One, give me two, give me three. There we go. Boom, second shiny in the bag, and it's not even like, we haven't even started looking around. Today is also the shiny Clefairy day. So I think there should be more Clefairies around. I can't see too many at the moment. Maybe we'll see one, maybe we won't, I don't know. And we've got one more shiny before I leave, oh my goodness, before we leave this area. I think it's this one right here. There we go, Finally, look at that. Final shiny of the day is a purple Lapras. I can't believe this. This is all my luck that like over the past, I don't know, three or four weeks I just saved up. Not to mention my community day went really well um, on top of that. I managed to get the, I'll show you in a second, the coolest lime green beedrill of all time. I'll razz it up. I think it's a guaranteed catch anyway, but let's go to Gold Town. I don't want to miss out on a purple Lapras. He's really big and chunky. I probably should have shown you that. He took up most of the screen. On the 700th day of Christmas, Lapras said to me he doesn't want to come my Pokeball because he likes counting to three. Two, give me three. Yes, there we go, all right, three in the bag. Not a bad way to start it. I'll show you my shiny bee drill though because I was super proud of it and I think it actually looks really sick. But I think like now I look at these shinies, I probably owe you guys an update on like my shiny list and everything that I've managed to get. But this right here is my bee drill. I think it's the coolest color scheme ever. I mean, yeah, Weedle wasn't the coolest Pokemon to catch, but when he evolved into Beedrill, holy smokes, I love a lime green milkshake. But yeah, we should do a shiny update. I should give you guys a have a look. Ladies and gentlemen, I've honestly found the best use of this phone. Okay, so I've been thinking to myself, like, why would you buy one of these things just for Pokemon Go? That doesn't make any sense unless you're Uncle Ando. Um, but I think I've done it. So basically, it's cool to catch Pokemon. You can, like, sort of fold it up and then maybe, like, do the Pokeball, do that. But check this out. The raid, the tapping system that everybody hates, is much better on a flipping Z fold or what Z flip? I don't know, fold flip, whatever it's called, one of the F words. Um, but check this out. This is so much better. So for the meme, we're gonna do this Volpix raid right here, the Alolan Volpix. Let me show you how easy it is to do these raids, to do like uh I wanna find a T Rocket stop. It's so much fun. Guys, we found a wild wing goal. I'm gonna I'm gonna say hi to the wild wing goal. Come here, come here for the vlog, guys. Okay, I don't, I don't think Wild Wingo wanted to be on the vlog, but we're nearly on the, uh, we're nearly in the Volpix raid. All right, I don't think any, uh, I don't think any Wingos wanted to join the vlog today, but okay, so it's about 14 seconds to go. Sorry about that random segment. What are you gonna do? You start stretching up. All right, 10 seconds to go. You're gonna get your Samsung fold flip thingy. Get it halfway right here. Get it to your prime position. Maybe on your coffee table, we could go to the coffee shop, have a resting there. It's gonna boot up like, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. And you're gonna tap, because that's the button you need. That one right there. Holy <laughs> What the flip, this is so easy. I mean, granted, you could probably do it with your old, the like other phone, your old phone, but what you're gonna do, you're gonna see the top up right here. So all that you have to really look at is the top timer. <laughs> It's so dumb. You don't need this at all. But it's it's funny. It's cool. So like, this is the perfect PvP phone. If you're gonna get into esports, you know, signed a phase for Pokemon Go. Gee whiz, that was weird. Okay, there we go. And then you just unfold it for a more precise sort of throw. Or if you want to be really lazy, it could still be folded like that. What the? That's, yep, so that's probably my go-to use of the phone, I guess. There we go, we've got an Alolan Vulpix. I'm gonna catch this Kangaskhan because you don't understand the comment section when I don't catch a Kangaskhan. You guys want to murder me. It's like, oh my, Ando just walked, but imagine walking past the Kangaskhan. I live in Australia, I see this all the time, but for the for the vlog, we're gonna try and get it. Yeet! Holy smoke, this is why I don't bother. I've got 10,000, but for the vlog, we're gonna try and get it. Come on, Kangaskhan for the ball, I'm gonna blow away. The wind's so strong! There we go, we did it. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. I might need to go somewhere else to find this Clefairy. I want to find a, po a Team Rocket stop. That's my next goal. I think that'd be hilarious. Oh boys, literally, I've been walking so far to get this one Pokemon. Look at this! We've got none other than a wild Gabba in the wild. I mean, obviously. But no, this is a Pokemon I actually haven't got yet. And I've been really, really excited because like, oh, the full Evolve Form Garchomp looks so good. And a Gabite in the wild I thought would look really, really cool on camera. Check that out. That's insane. So we could fold it up. There he is. And hopefully we can get him. I've golden razzed it. Can I just say, 
Throwing with a uh, camera in my hand is so difficult. Boom, there we go. I'm so happy. What a good find. Wild Gabite. Dude, this is sick. What a, oh, the Garchomp there? He's gonna look good. All right, I guess we keep getting candies, but that was a pretty cool find in the wild. And I still need to find a Team Rocket stop and see how that one goes, but that was pretty good. I was really excited about that one. Alrighty guys, the perfect way to end off today's episode is let's verse a Team Rocket grunt. Let's see how it plays out on the good old Samsung Z flipper Um And yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how it would work because my main concern, right, it's gonna be sick to battle because you can just sort of just tap it. You could have it folded and you could sort of just do that and tap away. But my like thinking is, what's it gonna be? Oh no, my Tyranitar had nothing left. Why'd I pick that? Oh, Tyranitar's about to die. This isn't good, I'm so done. Volpix is about to kill our Tyranitar. But my thinking was right. If we manage to get Tyranitar all the way to a, whatever, let's send out. Oh, that wasn't good, not a grass type either. Anyway, I just wanna trial something. If I get this thing, we just keep tapping. Versus the Team Rocket Grunt right here, tap away, use the uh, shield as well. But when the special attack comes out, what's it like to try and outline it all? Or do you just get blocked by the curve on the screen? So let's keep going, come on, let's get our energy ball up. Leafeon, it's all up to you, bud. What's the next Pokemon? Nine Tails, no! That's okay, energy ball. We're gonna get absolutely annihilated. How's this gonna work? Oh no, it's on the curve, it's on the curve. You know what it feels like? Do you know those like fingerboards or the tech decks back in the day? It feels like I'm trying to do an ollie on like a half pipe. It's really weird. You can still kind of do it. Like it's not as touch sensitive right here. Man, it's still doable. It's kind of weird. It's such a long screen when you fold it out flat. And there we go. Boom, that's it. Shadow Volpix in the bag. And as the railway crossing sort of goes off, you can hear the train coming in. I think that's a perfect way to wind up today's episode. The sun is setting. Let's head back and give my final thoughts. All right, but to end the video here, what is my conclusion on using the Samsung Z Flip or the Samsung Z Fold as a Pokemon Go device, being a competitive Pokemon Go player or just casually playing the game? I think it's honestly the ultimate lazy person's device. You could like put it anywhere, whether you be in a coffee shop, whether you be in a library, you could sit it down, have Pokemon Go running, and just like, just be tapping away. You'd look like a crazy person, but honestly it works like that. Um, and it's really good because you at a glance you can see what's going on in the top half, and the bottom half doesn't matter so much in Pokemon Go, because you're sort of tapping or it's the Pokeball there. So it's pretty cool to just sit and just look at. You don't have to sort of lean over to see what's going on. But besides that, no real huge advantage. Honestly, the wind up of the Pokeball at the bottom here doesn't really work as well as you want to because when you're trying to line up a Pokemon, you want to get a full like depth of motion right here, which is really actually difficult if you're a screen blocking it. I always found my like nail was hitting the top of the screen here. But I think the phone in general is actually a really cool device and I don't think there's any huge advantages. I don't think there's any huge disadvantages. I think it's just a, it's a cool like gimmick. And if you got it, sick, it's cool. It adds to a couple like conversation starters, but honestly, you don't really need it to add a huge advantage in Pokemon Go, but I'm sure you could have worked that out before you clicked today's video. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go down the coffee shop, set this bad boy up like this, and defeat some raids. Let's get another Zekron, boys. All right, until next time, keep, keep on gaming.